Hey guys, Jimmy from Jim's Marine here. It's summer 2022, and today we've got a brand new model from Chaparral, the 247 SSX, that we're gonna do a walkthrough and then a seat trial on. Before we start this Ballastern walkthrough, we'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button and go ahead and smash the subscribe, because we've got a lot more videos in the pipeline that we don't want you guys to miss out on. All right, so we're gonna start this video up in the bow, but first I'd like to just run through a couple quick specs with you. So the boat is 24 foot six length overall, it's got an 8 foot 6 beam with a 60 gallon fuel tank and it's propelled by a 6.2 liter mercury engine with 300 horsepower. Starting up here at the very bow, if we look below the rub rail, we can see the docking lights on and their LEDs on this boat. And just above them here is our horn and it's got this nice piece of chrome plating around it. On the very tip of the bow we have our navigation lights and this is our anchor well where we store our anchor. And this chaparral boat comes with this really nice heavy duty anchor so you're already ready to go so if we take a look up in the bow i'd like you to come up here a little bit we have storage on both sides and it's actually a lot of storage for the size of this boat up here so i'm going to pop open our starboard side bow seat you can look in that box there it's pretty deep and pretty big so this would be a good spot to keep some safety gear maybe life vests uh, dock lines throw cushion things like that you got plenty of room and you got the same storage over here on the port side as well. There's two speakers up front with built-in courtesy lights for your passengers. And I also like how they have this stainless grab rail. It's really nice because when you're, when you're sitting in this seat, if you're running through any kind of choppy water, you feel safe because it gives you something to grab onto. And just inside of it, underneath the bolster cushion, you have two cup holders so you can store your favorite drink, whatever that may be in the cup holder while you're riding. All right, so this is where it really gets exciting. Back in this area of the boat, there's just so many features. So I'd like to start off with our GPSs that are both flush mounted in our dash here. Now, if you can get up close on them, you'll notice this boat doesn't have engine gauges. We just have these two GPSs. So one of our GPSs doubles as our engine monitor. Over here on the left side, I've got my navigation chart. And over here on the right side, we've got all of our engine telemetry. So we looked at both GPS units really quick. I don't want to just run over all the buttons on the dash too. So top left here, navigation and anchor light button. So if you hit this once, it'll turn on our green and red navigation lights and our anchor light both together. So if we're running underway at nighttime, a second time we'll just turn our anchor light on and our navigation lights off. Below that button, we have a courtesy light button that I already have turned on, but it lights up all the speakers throughout the boat. And there's some little LEDs as well that illuminate when you hit the button. Docking light button turns on the white docking lights up on the bow. Over here on the right side of the panel, we've got our horn. And below it, we have a manual bilge pump turn on. So this boat has an automatic bilge pump, but it's still good to have that manual switch in case the float function failed. And that automatic function will work no matter what position the battery switch is in. So even if the battery switch is off, you can still rely on your automatic build pump to kick on, which is a nice safety feature. The next button on this panel really gets me fired up because it's such a cool feature that Chaparral does. This is how we control our EFX arch, our electric arch. So I'm just gonna run it down a little bit. We have to be cautious having the dimity top up though. How cool is that? We have our premium steering wheel here that you'll use to steer the boat with, with the key switch right next to it, and our blower switch that we should always use before we start the boat. So let's hear that blower go. Here it go back there. And then run the camera back up here because we have a radio control right above the shifter here, or just in front of it, where we can control all of our favorite music, whether that's via Bluetooth or FM radio. Before we get all the way to the back of this boat, I just want to point out the floor. It's got deluxe sea deck snap-in flooring. Put the camera down onto it and take a look, but I really like this because for one, it feels better on your feet than carpet does. And for two, when you peel it up, it's clean underneath. On a lot of older bow riders, when you peel up their carpeted snap-in flooring, there'll be black specks all over the floor, just be a complete and total mess. So with this deluxe premium sea deck, you don't get any of that. I'm gonna go ahead here and open up this ski locker. This would be where you would keep a set of water skis because it's long and narrow. But if skiing is not your forte, feel free to keep any safety gear, dock lines, boat poles, 
or anything else that you could imagine in there. One thing that Chaparral does that I really like, if you look at the driver's seat, they put a bolster here. And a lot of boats do this. You know, you can see over the windshield when you're driving and it really helps for getting up on plane. But what makes Chaparral unique is they do it on the passenger side too. I haven't seen as many other boats doing that. So even if you're passenger, they can even look out and help you spot for traffic because they have their own bolster. All right, so you can look at all the premium upholstery in this boat, but some of the seats configure for a different layout. So example, this seat in the stern here, this is kind of for this sitting position while you're cruising underway with your family or friends. But when you're on anchor, the seat does something really, really cool. Check this out. Pull it forward like that. We've transformed the whole stern of the boat. This is now a full sun pad lounge. So once you get on anchor, you just kind of sit back here and relax and just enjoy whatever the day brings. So now I'm back on the swim deck. And what I like about the swim deck is we have a stereo control over here on the port side of the boat. And next to it, we have a trim up and down button. So this really helps you at the boat ramp. If you're about to step off the swim deck onto the dock and you forgot to trim up up at the helm, we can trim up right from here. So let's go ahead and hit that. And we'll hear our outdrive coming up a bit here. Awesome. Before we step off this boat and begin our sea trial, I'd like to show you where the battery switch is. So if we step over to the starboard side, right in this walkthrough compartment, I'm gonna pop it open and we're gonna see our battery switch in there. It's right up against this side wall. And this boat does have dual batteries. And another cool feature, it has dual fuel inlets. There's only one fuel tank, but if you look on the boat, we can fuel it or we can fill it from the port side here or from the starboard side. So if you're trailering this boat around and you need fuel in your vehicle, whichever side your vehicle takes, you can fuel your boat from the same side. Or if you have problems docking on one side, whichever side you feel more comfortable with, you can fuel it from there. All right, so we've done our bow to stern walkthrough. Let's untie this boat and go out for a sea trial and you can see how it runs on the water. Thanks everybody for watching this video. We have more videos coming, so stay tuned and keep an eye on our channel. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because then you'll know as soon as we post a new video. But if you have any more questions about this boat or any of the boats that we sell, feel free to give us a call and ask for Jimmy, Tidewater Tammy, or Sam, and we'd be happy to help you.